it's just uh, unusual for a, a, a royal who is going to be king to get involved. They are supposed to be apolitical and, and the late queen was always apolitical. You really had no idea where she stood on so many issues and that's the way it's supposed to be because they are not elected officials. Now, Rabbi, you just uh, recently had a panel discussion on my predecessor, Piers Morgan's program with Norman Finkelstein, who is a staunch critic of Israel and Zionism. Uh, he made some truly hideous comments, I've got to say, uh, uh, celebrating October 7. Uh, but the discussion you had with him on that program got really heated, it got ugly, and now you've come under fire for being too emotional and attacking Finkelstein personally. Do you regret that? Uh, I know this is just uh, storming all over social media. Uh, oh, you, tell me about you uh, why are, you are got you so heated with this. Uh, if anything... Because uh, I, I saw even Pierce Morgan... Um, I, I, I saw even Pierce oh, Morgan I think, I think... Have, a, have a go at you. Yeah, I, I actually think that Pierce Morgan is a gentleman, and the reason why he wrote what he wrote on X that Shmuley, you got uh, too personal with him was was to protect Norman Finkelstein, because he was so obliterated in that debate. He was so embarrassingly demolished. First of all, his entire debating style is this troning monotone that puts you into a coma, and then like a prize fighter who's about to be knocked out, he kind of wants to run out the clock, so he tries to dominate the debate. If anything, I was way too easy on them. Let me just, let's be clear about who Norman Finkelstein is. He, he wrote a book that said that we use the six million Jews who were, who were gassed to death in the Holocaust. We Jews use it today only to make money. We use it to shake down Switzerland, to shake down Germany, and to get giant payments from Swiss banks. If that isn't disgusting enough, on October 7th, hours into the attack, he actually wrote that every fiber of my being is celebrating the attack on the Israelis. Like what he said was he said bad smile, enough. We don't need to put any mayonnaise on it. It was pretty bad. Faces. He directly referenced the child and the children's faces. Now, what you're saying is what his defense was. He's saying, I did say that every fiber of my being is celebrating this, but I did not know that, all, that beyond 50 Jews were murdered. So let's say it was 50, Rita. Let's say only 10 women were shot in the vagina, 10 Jewish men were decapitated, and only 20 Jewish children were burned to death. So he's saying then it would have been okay. That was actually his defense to Pierce Morgan. Norman Finkelstein, we were only talking about him for one reason, because if Jews are news, which they are, according to the classic uh, journalistic idiom, then Jewish anti-Semites get the brightest headlights. He's a Jewish Jew hater, and therefore he gets the most news. Now, he actually said in an interview in 2016 that he gets paid for all these lectures to attack Israel. And he actually said that he's upset at BDS because they said Norman Finkelstone is a nobody. The Jews don't care about him anymore. He said, I used to get 40 paid lectures a year. Now I only get four. That's why he keeps on upping the ante. Every year he needs to say something more outrageous on Pierce Morgan or any other show in order to keep on bringing in the cash. So, and I'm, I want to be clear about that. He's, so when he said October 7th that he was celebrating it, this is all in the hope that he'll get on TV and we will talk about it. That doesn't excuse, however, the barbarity of what he said, the monstrosity of what he said. He called Israel a satanic state from hell. He said that Israel comes from the boils of hell. He, said, he, called, he accused us Jews five separate times of genocide. He started in 1982 in the... Uh, in the, in the war on in, in, in Lebanon. Oh, now, yeah, it, it, that is yeah, well documented. Yeah. His history of of uh, uh, standing with Holocaust deniers and, and saying all sorts of terrible stuff. I am Thank not disputing like any of that at all. But, but how bad are but we at genocide? Still, if we try it five times and we fail, and we Jews kind of suck at genocide, we need to read like the dummy's guide to genocide because we've tried it five times. And in the entire Arab-Israeli conflict, since in 75 years, about 100, 130,000 people have died. In it, as far as Gaza is concerned, one million residents have been added to Gaza since 1967 when Israel took control of it. So if a genocide means that the population grows by double what it was getting, that's not a genocide. This is a blood libel. It's the same thing as saying that Jews drink the blood of Christian children, that Jews 
poison the wells of Europe. He is absolutely guilty of blood libel. So not only do I not regret what I said, I went way too easy on him. I regret that I wasn't tougher on him. And the Jewish community is saying that I should have been much tougher. Because you know what, Greta, we're tired of disgusting pigs like Norman Finkelstein who say Jews love blood. They have a, he's, he, do, he used the word bloodlust. We love to murder. We love to kill. We're vampires. We, 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 we like drinking blood. He's disgusting. Rabbi Shmuley, we've, we've run out of time, but uh, I think you have made your point very clear indeed. Rabbi Shmuley Botaic, thank you so much for your time this evening.